What is up YouTube? Good morning everyone. It is Friday. Man, I haven't vlogged in a couple days. I'm not gonna lie, I miss it. I didn't really vlog on Wednesday. I didn't vlog at all yesterday and Thursday. To be quite honest, it's because I just didn't really have time. I wasn't doing anything that would be even worth even vlogging, to be quite honest. So, uh, I just got out of the gym. It's about 5.50 a.m. right now. So I work starts at 6 a.m. today, so I have to head out to work. But uh, man, it wasn't a good workout. I could have done better. I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. Maybe because I didn't eat breakfast beforehand. But I was lifting, and I'm I'm lifting weights that I usually lift, and actually heavier than I usually lift. But it felt like I wasn't breaking a sweat, and I was frustrated with that. And man, I just gotta push myself harder tomorrow. But anyway, it is a new day. It is Friday, and let's begin the day. I'll see you guys when I get to work. Peace. All right, YouTube. What's up? So I just got off work. I'm here at Sushimon like usual. I'm gonna go eat. I'll see you guys inside. What I do usually get is um, I get a crunch roll every single time. It's the only thing I ever get at a restaurant. Uh, it's my favorite thing. So if anyone ever treats me out to sushi or meets me at sushi, you know what to get. <laughs> All right, what's up YouTube? Uh, it is pretty late in the day. Um, I know I didn't really get to vlog the entire day. It's about 4 p.m. now, and I'm gonna go ahead and spend time with my family today. But I do got some sad news. My drone has something malfunctioning with it right now, so I'm actually gonna have to return it, and it's time to say goodbye to my drone. Some people might be wondering, like, why am I returning it? What's so wrong with it? Um, it, it occasionally, like, it seems like every two or three flights that I have, the camera tends to, like, go all crazy, and it kind of looks like the drone's about to fall, and so I wanna return it. Today's the last day I can have, the chance, last chance I have to return it, and so I wanna try to return it today before I can never have a chance to fix it, so. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm planning on actually returning this drone, and buying the Phantom Pro, which is like a lot better than the Mavic. So maybe that'll be better, we'll try it out. Goodbye Mavic Pro, see you next time. To be honest guys, this uh, Mavic, I feel like it really helped my videos upgrade a lot. But let me know what you guys think about it, if, there's, if I should even buy another drone, if it's worth it. Phantom 4 Pro, should I get that? Uh, but I do plan on buying another drone really soon. It just sucks that this drone had to malfunction way too much. So let's go in. Perfect, thank you sir. All right, YouTube, I know it's really late in the day. What time, it's 4.20 already. I returned the drone, it's gone. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty hard to return it. If it made my videos so much better. Um, I didn't really feel confident flying it anymore because I just felt like it could just drop any second. But what I am highly considering is either buying the Phantom Pro, which is $1,500 plus tax. I don't know, I don't think I should do it. It's probably way too expensive. So once this Mavic Pro returns, like when it goes fully through on Amazon, I think I'm just gonna buy another Mavic Pro. Um, I don't know, I do wanna get a Phantom 4 Pro. It, the image quality is simply amazing on that. It, it's insane. <laughs> and I really, really want it, you know, I really want it. It's a, like pretty professional camera. Anyway, um, I need to go. <laughs> I haven't uploaded a video in three days, but man, like it's been crazy. But I've literally just had no time to do it. So uh, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and meet with Stephanie down in Orange County. We're gonna hang out, have some, you know, brother, cousin time, hang out, chill. Not sure, nothing really planned in the books on what we're gonna do, but I'll see you guys when I get there. What's up, YouTube? It's Stephanie, and I'm the cousin of the life developer. <laughs> Fail, sorry about that YouTube. <laughs> she is not a pro YouTuber yet. <laughs> but I'm here with Stephanie. Where are we going again, Steph? Um, we're going to this like one boba place that I don't even remember its name, but we're going there anyways. <laughs> yes, we're going there. I'll see you guys inside. All right, Stephanie, where are we going? We're going to Fusion Tea Bar. I All actually right, know the name now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check it out. YouTube, we have a problem. Stephanie, I'm gonna ask you a question, okay? Do you have a boyfriend, yes or no? I need to turn off the camera really quick. I need to do some talking. I need to do some investigating, hire someone, and what is his, what is his name? Classified information mail. Classified information? Yeah. All right, YouTube. I asked Stephanie, not me, Joy. I asked Stephanie a question, and I asked her, is it true that a lot of people in high school nowadays, or middle school, their dream is like to be a YouTuber? Is, yeah. Really? 
-hmm. Stephanie, do you have your own YouTube channel? Yeah, I have two. <laughs> you have two, Stephanie. I have two. You have I to have name two. only one channel that I'm gonna link in the description below. Stephanie Ramos. All right, check it out. Link in the description below, and uh, go ahead and check her out. You have nine subscribers. Am I weird? Don't answer that. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, I forgot to do this earlier. No. Can you do it? Can you tell the YouTube family that we'll see them at the mall? And we'll see you at the mall. Oh shoot, <laughs> ah, I failed. Okay, what's up YouTube? So we're here now. We're gonna go to Cheesecake Factory here in Cerritos Mall. Stephanie's not hungry, so I guess I'm gonna eat by myself. <laughs> wow, okay, okay, okay. All right, let's go. Just kidding YouTube. We actually ended up not going there because it was like an hour wait, I think. Like so it. yeah, forget that. We're gonna just eat here in the food court instead. Alright, what's up YouTube? Sorry, we actually didn't really show what we did inside the mall because we didn't really do anything. It's got Panda Express. Now, this is how fun of a life a developer is. We're gonna go to Target and buy pens and notebooks. Woo! <laughs> so Stephanie and I, um, we're actually just visiting our um, our old home. Actually, it's one of the nice, cool, nice, best places we had. Uh, um, the, the, the best one was the one in the circle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was nice that too. That one was a really nice one. Um, but when I used to live with them, um, this is actually the house he used to live at, and I didn't ever tell this on YouTube. But this is the house I got. Actually, your mom kicked me out, right? Yeah. Her mom kicked me out of the house, and to be honest, that was probably one of the scariest moments of my life. Yeah, but yeah, also, nice. also the best thing that ever happened to me, to be quite honest, because I got kicked out. I was forced to grow up, become an adult, and try to take care of myself. And to be honest, if I never got kicked out of the house, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't have made the decision to learn code. I would just have been a gamer, having no life. It does. It looks a little different now, huh? I don't know, yeah. Yeah, okay, well, that's the house we used to live at. How do you feel seeing it? It's interesting. It's probably, the grass is dead probably because I don't water it. <laughs> Stephanie remembers when I used to have, I remember I have no money, right? Like I was like, my job was bad too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now she's grown up and does she have a boyfriend? She does. And when I find you, <laughs> when I find I you, I won't kill him. <laughs> Why would I ever do that? I will tickle him. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right. I'll drop you off now. All right. Say bye to YouTube. Bye. YouTube. Let's, <laughs> let's do some B-roll. YouTube so I just dropped off Stephanie <laughs> I didn't really vlog too much of my time with her uh, we were t together for about three hours just chilling um, you know spending time together quality time and just talking catching up and I'm really glad to hear that she's doing well um, you know and I'm really glad that I took the time to actually spend time with her because usually during this time I'm studying code or editing videos and I haven't uploaded a vlog in like three or four days. Sometimes you just need personal time like this and I needed that and she needed that too. And it's just good to spend time together. We didn't even really buy anything. We just walked around wasting time. <laughs> but and to be honest, that was the best thing that ever happened to me because I was so comfortable. I was in my comfort zone for such a long time where I just didn't want to do anything. I liked how easy life was where I didn't need a good job, I could work part-time and play games all day. That was my life before. And so like getting kicked out probably is one of the best things to ever happen to me because it forced me to grow up, to get a life, to find a way. And I remember for two, three years, I was wondering what can I do to survive? What can I do so I don't struggle no more? I can't get a job, no one wants to hire me, I don't have a degree. And then I made a decision to learn code. And to be honest, that those times when I got kicked out, I was I, didn't, I wasn't even living paycheck to paycheck. I was living, not even enough. Like my check for two months was enough just to pay rent. On top of that, I had enough for my phone bill and a little bit of money for food. <laughs> Crazy man, just thinking about those days. And those days were really difficult. Now I, I remember thinking, oh my gosh, am I going to have to scrape for just scraps of food every single day for the rest of my life? And it's terrifying, you know. And 
and just to see where I am today, it's I'm just very thankful again, and I'm very humbled. And it started all with like, yeah, I got kicked out, and you know, life happened, right? And I had to find a way, and I found a way, and I'm here now. If you'd have told me at that time I would have a YouTube channel, that's kind of crazy too. Like, what the? Who would ever want to follow me? What do I have to talk about that's so valuable? I'm a junior developer, and I have a coding channel where I talk about code. <laughs> like, what the? <laughs> Man, so I'm just very thankful, but I want to make it a goal to never forget those in your family, those around you, because they are very, very valuable. They're very important. They're very important to me. And so, yeah, you know, and, and most importantly, of course, you know, I have God, and that's number one of always. But to be honest, you know, I know a lot of people. They leave in the comments sections all the time and they PM me on Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat all the time and they talk about how life is so hard. They don't know what to do. A lot of people message me, Chris, I know it's so I've been studying code for four months. Just four months. I wanna quit. It's so hard. I, I hate that I can't understand it. And for me when I hear this, it's like like come on, like it's not supposed to be easy. Yeah, I became a developer in three months, but that's not normal. That doesn't happen to everyone. That happened to me because I got lucky. I'm not better than anyone else. I'm really not. And so when I hear that people want to give up after just a couple months because it's hard to understand, then to be honest, then maybe quit. It won't be for you. Coding is not supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be hard to grasp and understand. And if anyone could just understand it that easy, then why are we still valued at our company? Because it's not easy to understand. Like I'm learning Ruby and Ruby on Rails and the command line as hard as and as fun as it is Like the command line is so annoying sometimes because it's just so new to me. I don't it, it's hard for me It might be easy to other people, but because it's hard doesn't mean I'm gonna give up because it's hard doesn't mean I'm gonna take a break from it right now No, I keep pushing through I keep trying to get through and keep trying to understand it and trying to make sure that I know it well Because knowing a command line being able to use it to upload it to github to you know beanstalk or you know um, To everything whatever you use those things are vital to developer because everyone uses it. That's like the basics. There's HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, right? In the front end is PHP, uh, Ruby, Ruby on Rails in the back end, right? Ruby on Rails is the, the, the library. But the way that you upload your code and make sure it gets approved and the way you're able to push it live is through the command line. And for me, that's been really difficult and I, because I didn't put so much effort before. But just because it's hard doesn't mean I'll give up. So when I hear people that say they want to give up, it's just like... Like, come on, it's not supposed to be easy. And sometimes I, I think sometimes it, it might be my, my fault because I make it seem like it's easy. It seems like it's easy when you love it. But if you love it, even if it's hard, you don't want to give up. You know, and so am I saying give up now? I, I mean, no, keep trying. Even getting a job is supposed to be hard. You don't have any experience. You didn't even go to school. You know, and, and like, like, <laughs> like seriously though, man, like, it's not supposed to be easy, guys. Seriously. I know it's hard, but man, if I didn't do that, I would have no way to take care of my health right now. There would have been no way for me to help support Midori when she was going through college before she graduated. There'd been no way to support my family, my mom, and my dad. They would have been struggling that much more. And all that changed because I put in effort and persevered to learn code. And I didn't even have time to learn code. I would study it during work, right? <laughs> Find a way, make it happen. Don't give up. If you want it, you'll do anything to get there. If you give up, then maybe you don't really want it. Maybe you're just gonna be in that comfortable stage like I was. Maybe something bad has to happen to you, like getting kicked out like I did. Just to finally help you realize that you have to find a way to take care of yourself. You know, more important the story is, I know it's hard, it's supposed to be, but you will get there, you will. All right, YouTube. <laughs> I think that will be the end of the vlog right here. So, I know this little video vlog was a little different than usual. I don't know how long it'll be, maybe short, maybe a little longer. But, thank you everyone for watching. I know there's a lot of things that people want me to talk about. Um, and um, I will get to it. I really will. Uh, 
but again remember this isn't just a coding channel it's a vlogging lifestyle channel about a, someone who is a developer who does code who is making mistakes and who's learning from mistakes and who's learning way how to do certain things just to make it easier and I'm really hoping through this channel that I'm able to push and help people get there easier um, to persevere and push through and hoping that through these vlogs that people will some would way somehow achieve their dreams no matter where you live in the world <laughs> alright I really gotta go <laughs> wow I talked for about eight minutes that's crazy <laughs> I gotta stop doing that alright guys well I'm gonna head out <laughs> this is Chris Sean this is Life of Web Developer, and I'm out. Peace. Hey.